Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's build focuses on the extremely powerful and unique combo that Hierarchy of Needs and Well of Agents has. With how strong Hierarchy is with its exotic effect, combining this with Well of Agents will allow you to get your super energy back times 2 faster compared to other means. However, the real trick to the build is how you can make Hierarchy trigger ignitions within your Well of Agents for even more built up damage over time. So today, I'll show you that little trick and why you should use this more often in GMs and above. To start, you're going to want to have Touch of Flame so that fusion grenades can explode twice. Then you want Heat Risers where you can use your weapons and abilities while gliding in the air. While airborne and have Heat Risers active, getting a kill will grant you mini energy. The Warlock's Aspect section doesn't offer a lot to the user until you hit the Fragment section. So for now, go with the following as these tend to be the best default options to pick. Looking into the fragments, Ember Tempering, where Solar Weapon Thunder Blows grant you and allies increased recovery for a short time frame. While active, your Solar Weapons will also create Fire Sprites. Ember Searing, where defeating Scorched Targets grant melee energy and creates Fire Sprites. Ember Combustion, where Thunder Blows with a Solar Super causes targets to ignite and create a Fire Sprite and Ember of Ashes where you apply more score stacks to targets. A key one you must have here is the Ember of Combustion as this here will allow our solar weapons in Wells of Agents to trigger ignitions. Now I do not know how long this has been known for but this small interaction allows players with Wells to make any of their solar weapons trigger ignition solar weapon kills without the need of incandescent. It's honestly quite fun when everything connects as this will feed back into our super regen over time. Only downside to this is that it can only work when Well of Agents is active and only active. For the mod and stat section, we will invest into Discipline and Intellect as the main key stats to use from here. Recovery will also have a part, but as Exotic being used doesn't require recovery usage that much, we can leave it as whatever level we have in mind. For this setup, you need to have a tier 10 Discipline stat overall, which will give you a 37 second cooldown upon use of Fusion Grenades. This can be done by having a tier 7 stat and then adding the front of focus mod for the extra plus 30 towards the stat. Quite a good cooldown for a number of things, the following grenade with our aspect will play a part in providing standard DPS and quick burst of damage when required all round. Depending on how you want to gain your super energy back fast, having the front of wisdom or ashes to assets mod would benefit the build and user for a quick burst shots of gathering super energy. Ashes to Assets would make the most sense here, as our cooldown is quite low, but we are going to be stationary for a number of content, and I have found that Fond of Wisdom is a much more better option to use within the given area we are in. Having a Firepower mod as well is also recommended to build, but that is down to you. Intellect at base tier 7 with a Fond of Wisdom mod for a tier 10 stat is also recommended, so you can get an overall Well of Agents back within a 5 minute 19 second cooldown. This will help be as protocol in terms of being able to get our super back fast in and out of our super phase once in action. The point of this stat is that we can get our super back up and passively rather than need to fully delve into key grenades or mini mods to speed this process up. Relatively, this will be moderately fast once an orb of power is collected and as long as the armor charge is available, this one key feature will always be available when you need it most. From here, we have armor charges and additional mods that can be applied. Charged up is going to give you a extra plus one of armor charges once active. After that, adding on the harmonic cipher mod, a firepower mod, and powerful attraction mod will help with creating all the power as we go along, but also allowing us to quickly gather orbs near us. Having a times one or times two solar weapon surge mod so that you can get your solar weapons a constant 10% to 17% source of buff damage while active is also recommended. And lastly, applying time dilation is also helpful with retaining our charges by increasing our overall duration by 15 seconds. For weapons, I've chosen the Hierarchy of Needs bow for sheer power and perfect match when being used in Well of Agents. This bow has a very high draw time compared to many other bows in game, which makes it a very slow to pick up and use and fire one after another. Now, with this catalyst applied, you can speed up his draw time to fire faster, but this is optional as not everyone can get the following. The bow works very well well arranged though, 
as the slowness pairs well with our stationary setup we have in mind, so that we can maximize our damage and guidance ring usage. With how accurate and powerful the guidance ring effects are, staying in their whelp to push the damage further benefits the user with allowing them to stay as a sentry and taking out whatever target comes in our view. If you don't have the build, then the Tiku's Divination is a great alternative as that has a 580 draw time which allows you to fire faster, but also progress effects much more often without the build up needed compared to using hierarchy of needs. Now a rather popular build that did pick up a few weeks back, the following allows players to really bring in the utter power that hierarchy of needs can provide in a simple format. This setup has been around for quite a while, but it has been slept on simply because when compared to other exotic bows, we have better options to pick that are more flexible and stronger to use. Now, I'm not saying Hierarchy is a terrible exotic, but when compared to Wishender with its high impact damage, ability to go through multiple targets, and its innate anti barrier option, it's hard not to disagree. This however does not mean the bow is bad and is quite perfect on its own. What makes Hierarchy needs and Well of Radiance a perfect match is how they all come together with little effort. The bow fires slow but hits hard, and with this exotic trait that allows our bow to track and do increased damage, pairing this with our well, which will be stationary, allows us to destroy mini bosses rather quickly while also allowing us to get our super energy back up and run again via Phoenix Protocol. But most extraordinary is going to be the Ember Combustion Fragment combo that allows our solar weapons in wells to produce the ignition after kills. Whether this is intentional or not, the following provides a limited buff that improves the user's damage by 10 folds. With the right fragments equipped, it, you can enhance your ignition blast to have more radius or apply extra scorch, etc. Simply, if you want a setup to where you don't need to move around a lot, but you do want to do some amazing damage that can make even GMs a breeze, then this right here is what you want to aim for. Well of Agents is always going to be a go-to super that many players will use for ending content just because of its ease of use, but combining it with exotic bow and fragment will allow you to clear out GM battlegrounds areas as if you have unlimited machine gun on hand, which should say a lot with how chaotic they can get. Now don't worry if you don't have the bow, as any solo bow can work here, but getting hierarchy for just this alone is well worth the effort and fun involved. But what do you think? So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on the content shared then please leave a comment below, while at the same time if you enjoyed the content and want more of these videos in the future then leave a like and a sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below, and if you want more stuff like this then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you desire. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you all again soon.